When an installer approaches an existing roof, they've often got a fear of where's the raft are going to be. I'll explain why it doesn't matter with our method. You'll usually find every fifth tile is nailed. If you need to get a nailed course out, take two out above it and you can access the nails. This rafter is in position A, where it's between these two tiles. I'll explain further. We've designed this bracket specifically for plain tiles, often cold rosemaries. What's important about it is it has two fixing points, one through the rafter, one through the batten through the rafter. But this is what's critical. This elbow has to come from the bottom of the batten. Because of the length of these tiles, if the elbow came from the top of the batten, you end up having three courses of tiles to cut. With this, you have two. I'll show you how it works. The positions of the bracket and the rafter is the same as with slates. There can only be three different positions in relation to this course of tiles or slates, whatever you're using. This is position A between those two slates. Position B in the middle of this slate, and this is position C, between those two points. If a rafter was to be put anywhere else, it would be in one of those positions in relation to another tile. So you will always have the same group of cuts. You need this clearance and you need this angle to get away from the thickness of this tile. So we have position A, as with a slate, it's one under and two over. Now, it wouldn't be practical to use this. If you use that as one under, you might get away with it, it might be strong enough, but if they broke, the tile comes out. So that isn't practical for that one. What you would do, you put a, a full tile in, mark it, and with an angle grinder, cut the bottom off. And then you end up with this. That's one under, foam on, Solar flash on. Two over. The solar flash comes up to here, the next tile comes down to here. Position B is two under and one over. Foam on. Solar flash on. Now this one over, even though this is as flimsy as the other one, if they broke off, the roof is still intact. They would come down the roof. But you could leave them on. It leaves a better looking job. If you wanted to, you could just use that. Or you could put a piece of tile behind it. The only difference it makes is you can see some extra solar flash. It's still going to be waterproof. This last one, position C, where it's between position A and position B, it's in the centre. You have one cut under, foam on, solar flash on, one over. and then a full tile to finish it off. So no matter where you open the roof up, no matter where the rafter is, it will always be one of these three sets of cuts. This is one under, two over. This is two under, one over. This is one under, one over. So wherever you open the roof up, it should take you five minutes to put a bracket in. Using this method and this material, it's a guaranteed waterproof, aesthetic finish that will leave your customer happy.